don't know what it's doing. Hi, welcome to the channel. It's Ford and back, and I'm off on my wheels. Zuh. Because I'm on the bike. Yeah, I'm off for a date to go and see the guys at E Riders. They they offered me um a chance to go and ride on a wheel, and I said, yeah, for sure, man. Um, the guys there, Scott, Steve, and Ken in the workshop, really generous. They're giving me the opportunity to go and test out a couple of wheels, and we thought we'd start things off with the Sherman S, which is amazing. I'm, I'm excited about that. Oh, here we go. Hang on. wanted to get in front of the truck. <laughs> I missed that actually. So yeah we're off to E-Riders at the moment. We're just gonna make a little ride along the highway and then we'll go and visit their beautiful store. Nice. I'm just gonna put the cruise control on because I don't want to get a ticket and twist your wrist just a little bit on this and you're getting a ticket. <laughs> so thanks a huge huge shout out to E-Riders for letting me test this wheel. I know it's an expensive wheel and it's hard to get tests on any wheel. So I really, really appreciate the support. Uh, you can help them out and help me by using their affiliate code, which is in the description. If you use that code back 50, that's gonna give you 50 off any electric unicycle on their range. Beautiful day for it, picked a really top day. I can't complain with the weather. Awesome, let's go rolling. Okay, here we are. We just went and saw Victor and Scott just at E-Riders and they had this beautiful wheel sitting there ready for me to go and have a roll on. It's really, really generous of them. Um, thanks guys, thanks E-Riders. You know, great dealers like that are really, really important to this industry and having people that know their stuff and support the community is like such a major part of me, you know, being able to get in and trust these wheels and know that I've got some service and some backup if I need that. Okay, there was a beep already at 60 kilometers per hour, so I don't really want to go pushing this. I just want to jump on and, you know, love it like I would if I knew nothing and I was just buying this for the first time. This feels really, really good, heaps good. In two seconds without my pads, it feels amazing. I better just watch those pedals. I don't know anything like what my pedal pedal height is. I noticed when I folded them out, they're a little bit flimsy. Yeah, not really the thickest casting. So that might be something that you consider upgrading. Like, wow, that feels nice though. A really nice place in between the V11 and the uh, V13. So yeah, I'm not really gonna test this too much today, but you know, that suspension is so nice. Oops, didn't really, no one's dropped the wheel yet, they said, so let's not be the first. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I don't know this area. This looks fun. I mean, off-road, I feel confident. That suspension is just gorgeous. It's super nice. It's really like um, a motorbike suspension. It's the same as basically the feel of my BMW that I just got off. Now, if you compare that to... Oh, nice little pond. Yeah, if you compare that to the V11 and the V13, it is definitely a different league already. I could love jumping, jumping this wheel if you had your right pads on. But it gets up to speed, no problem. Um, feels really, really well balanced. Uh, you know, I don't have to worry about the wobbles there. You know, that height of the V13 gives you a little bit more wobble. I'm in loose gravel here and I'm not really locked into the wheel, but I'm still holding it really comfortably. All right, I might just have a roll, go along these paths and just learn. Don't need to learn this wheel straight away. You just, you just know it. That's how it feels for me. You know, build quality, it's, uh, it's amazing, really. Feels like a good, strong wheel. Just those pedals, I guess, are the one thing that you might look at switching out. But you know, the case feels really, the machining and all the finishes feel very nice. All the fit and finish. It's my first time looking at a, a veteran really well. And I guess, you know, a couple of brands that I've looked at now, each have their qualities, don't they? Okay, I'm gonna move these pads down a bit so I can 
maybe jump it up a bit. Let's see what we can do with them. Don't think I'm going to be able to get the same feel as I can with the Grizzler Flows. That's some serious suspension. It definitely reminds me of my, my motorbikes. I could definitely have a wheel with this suspension in my collection and be quite happy with that. But you've got a good screen here. You can actually adjust the angle of your light. You can adjust the angle of your lasers on the back as well. And that's a great little feature. It looks really good. It holds up well. It'd look good at night. Look, I'm just gonna jump into the menu a little bit. So it's got a temperature. I think that's just an ambient temperature. I believe this has got cell balancing. You know, you fully charge it up to 100% and the cells will balance. It's not a smart BMS, I believe, and it doesn't really offer you the temperatures of your individual batteries or the cell voltages individually. Not so, like some of your other wheels now. Maybe is lacking in that area if that's something that's important to you. it up and I definitely know you could adjust it more but you know some of those bumps there are quite big and I reckon I'd come off if I wasn't you know didn't have that nice suspension to hold on maybe you can see that suspension working as I head over these bumps here really makes light work of those bumps you still need to hold on you know you need to keep staying on it haven't dropped it yet guys I mean I won't drop it And mounting it up it's so much more lighter so yeah that readout on the screen there it's just giving me speed at the moment and I think voltage so that's a you know, decent amount of information They're getting my confidence so quickly I've honestly been on this wheel for five ten minutes and already I'm traveling at speed no problem you actually don't really know how fast you're traveling which I guess is kind of similar to how the V13 rolls, you feel that confident and stable that the speed, is, it's just comfortable. Whoa, <laughs> I want to go and have more fun with it though. It wants me to have more fun, I think that's actually what's happening. Um, all those bumps, I'm, I'm just not really noticing. So I guess in the regards for those little bumps, it's kind of similar to the V13. It just, it eats those bumps really well, and that's what you want. <laughs> Off he goes, he wants out. <laughs> yeah, do it. I kind of like it when they... Yeah, that's it. They're supposed to live, hey. Yeah. Uh, just, I'm doing a... A YouTube thing. No, I just do these um, YouTubes on these wheels. So this, this jock's just lent me this to have a bit of a look. Hey, good luck. Hey. I like the wind. It's a, yeah, kilometers is where I feel a bit of a tilt and you can hear that beep and the beep isn't that strong but I've got my Shuri helmet and I can still hear that beep no problem so it's loud enough but I do believe that you can't adjust it but I can really feel that tilt back and it's a nice tilt back too it's not really sudden it's just nice and you know lets you know back off yeah, it's nice and flicky, you know, really good, agile. This would be amazing in the trail. This, you've got a 100 volt with 3,600 watt hours on the battery. So that's just giving you a little bit more room to push things. You know, I'm always worried about burning out my V11 and pushing it too hard. Whereas this, I think, would find 
a really nice happy place, really nice for the trail. That's the kind of thing I would use this for is trails. I think I'd like something a little bit stronger, maybe 126 volt for jumps. Um, but I'm not scared to hit the different terrain at, you know, 25 kilometers already on this wheel. It definitely took me a little bit longer to get used to the V13. I can brake stronger on the V13, but I think that's because I've got the Grizzler pads and I can really lean back where I have nothing, not much. I've got a little bit, but I don't usually bounce around that much. I don't think I'm game to try stairs just yet without my pads on, because my feet are just gonna float, float around through that. Well, I didn't expect to acclimatize to the wheel so quickly. Oh, that suspension is really nice. Really nice. Oh, you can sleep on that or something. Like you can take the path, but I don't want to. If I, I want to feel that cushy bounce. Yeah, great. Let's go this way. I haven't got too long, so I'm just going to try to enjoy myself as much as I can. Pew, pew. So I feel like taking the dirt and taking the gravel lots more than taking the the paths with this wheel. It makes me want to go and you know give it some. But it really tracks nicely on this um, pathway as well, so no hassles there. I've seen a lot of good people, good reports on this wheel. A lot of really good riders have chosen this wheel. Now it just makes me want to have fun. Heaps want to have fun. I guess I would like to pull a little bit more speed out of it, but that's only because I'm used to that V13 now. And there's definitely enough speed there. Hey, thanks for um, watching my video. Thanks for lending me the wheel. E-Riders, again, huge. Like that's such a big thing for my channel to be able to start to look at some different wheels. And you know, hopefully I can do this again. Um, the guys at the store are really busy. I think you may have seen, I don't know if I got that footage, but just as I was coming into the store, there was, you know, somebody just popped into the door and said, oh, I just want to buy a wheel. And they were looking at the Inmotion V11. I so wanted to pipe up and just, yeah, yeah do that. Get a wheel, get a wheel right now. So you should get a wheel right now if you haven't got one. If you're thinking about it head on into e-riders but this would be a beautiful wheel to commute with it's easy easy to get along with not sure of the range but i'm pretty sure people are getting ridiculous ranges with this wheel so that's always something to consider and i'm not going to be able to test that in this video of course i don't know where we're going so i don't know what psi i've got i don't know anything hey how good are wheels every wheel Lately, I think I get on. I'm just having a buzz. King Song 14D, my mate's got. That's amazing. This is amazing. My V11's amazing. My V13 is amazing. And yeah, I'm having a buzz every single time I get out and get rolling. You can too if you get a wheel. And the wheels are just getting better, allowing you to just do more stuff and have a lot more fun, aren't they? Just want to jump this thing. I like to get this set up with everything I want and just do some, some more jumping. Y'all, you know, I've had a bunch of fun today on this wheel. Y'all you know, had a bunch of fun on this wheel today. Thanks so much to E-Riders. Um, good job, Leper Kim. Leper, Leper Kim. What a beautiful, um, beautiful ride. Beautiful wheel. So I'd have absolutely no hassles in owning the Sherman S and you should be happy and proud if you've got that. Look at that suspension travel. Look at that. Bang, bang, bang. You could just kangaroo the whole way home. Let's see what this guy thinks as we hop past. Hey, I think he wanted to say a lot more than he did. It's amazing. So comfortable. That's more comfortable than my bed. You know that, you can even use that suspension when you're carving, it sort of bounces into the next step. It's, um, Really, really nice suspension. I don't want to take it back. I don't want to give it to them. I want to keep this. 
keep it at home for me. Oh, that was fun. Uh, you have an amazing day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on another adventure. We've hit a thousand kilometers on the V13. I'm going to keep pushing with that. I'm going to keep rolling on the V11. Until then, I guess, you know, see you later from Australia. I'll see you next time for another video. Okay, bye for now. Thank you, gents. Yeah, that was great. What a nice wheel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you could have so much more fun, but heaps impressed, man. Like, really beautiful ride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.